Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you a very quick and easy kitchen render which I did in Procreate app. This is very simple and easy. You will be famished like how easy it is to do this kind of detail render in Procreate. So without wasting any time, let's get into it. Okay, to start the model, we need some kind of a base. You either can use a sketch or any image. If you have for this one, I exported this image from the Rivet model. So like it's just the basic modeling that I did in Rivet and I exported this image. So I'm going to use this image for my base modeling so I can add things over it because I have everything. This is a scale. Everything is just perfect. I need to put pictures. Okay, for reference, I took this pictures from Pinterest. You can choose whatever you like. So I'm what I'm looking for is like blue base cabinets with white tall wall cabinets and some white backsplash. So yeah, I just save and downloaded all the images or you could see the images from your mood board and the materials as well that I'm going to use for the backsplash. I downloaded two to three materials like if I want something. So yeah, I could quickly change and see which will looks better. So when you have all the data with yourself, like all the images, pictures, now we are going to go and open the Procreate app. Okay, so you can use any canvas size. I'm here. I'm using the A4 journal canvas size. Once that is done, I'm going to import an image, the image of the base, uh, uh, the image of the kitchen that I exported from the rivet. I'm going to export it into the Procreate. So, sorry, import it. So now it is imported. I'm going to set it and, you know, just make it the resize it as per to the canvas of the Procreate. Okay, so now here it is done. We have this image. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add the base cabinets first. So to add that, I'm going to go into the settings and I'm going to just add the base bottom base cabinets. So I'm going to go and insert a photo so i'm gonna click on that and look for my picture that i save it and i'm gonna select that photo and just it will be there in procreate okay now you see and this will be in separate layer when i have this photo i'm just gonna go and cut the center piece of the sink and put it over here and for these two sides i'm gonna put the single cabinetry on both sides Okay, so you've got this cabinet. Make sure you're on the same layer. Then go to the selection and select the rectangle. So I'm just going to draw a rectangle on this uh, sink cabinets and just you know, just once that's selected, select that arrow and drag the drag this piece over there. Okay, right now I have this one. Now I'm going to do and uh, do same thing. The select rectangle and draw the rectangle in the single cabinet. So that's how I'm just going to extract these two things from this image. Okay, so that is done now. Okay, these are two here. Now I'm going to select the whole image and just kind of uh, pull it from the outside. That's it. Okay, so here I just resize it. And if you keep something outside this canvas, it's just totally disappear. So now... I just have these two images. I'm going to do select the rectangles and put it on the sink wall like this. Just drag it and okay for this I'm going to use the free form and this one and just I'm going to adjust it as per the sink cabinet. Okay, we don't have to care about the size in this one because this model is as per size. So as you see, I'm adjusting this image. It looks perfectly fine. It doesn't look like it's very small and the scale is out so yeah you need to make sure that whatever you pictures you're importing it has two true size okay for the single cabinet i'm also using the free form just i'm going to adjust it and see this looks perfectly fine and then when that's done i'm just going to adjust it and i'm going to create a copy for this one so i'm just going to uncheck everything from here and i'm going to select this again and make a copy it at the down now it will be in the separate layer as you can see so i'm going to just select it and move it here and i'm going to mirror it flip to the vertical so now we have this base cabinetry perfectly fine over here and i'm going to combine this layer so they all 
being with it. As you can see, this looks perfectly fine. It doesn't look like we just copy paste some pictures. It just looks like it's a 3D model. Now I'm going to add the cabinets on the two sides as well. I'm going to have a same double cabinets that I use in the sink on the both sides so it gives a good look. Okay, for this one, I want it to be an angle, so I'm using the sword. The sword is very easy. You just select it and you need to move the edges as per the perspective angle. By this, you can select any image in the perspective angle. Okay, here's the one thing as you can see. We have this kind of uh, cell right now and we don't want it because there's already there. So I'm just going to drag it down. And I'm going to erase this area with the help of the eraser tool. So I'm going to select the eraser tool and I'm going to erase all this unnecessary area that I don't want it. Okay, now here, as you can see, I have added all the cabinets, the side panels. I just used the basic panels and add these pictures. And I also added the tall cabinets, sorry, the wall cabinets, but I don't like it that much. I was planning to have the initially white cabinet, but I like I would just make it one and show it to my client as a second option. But now I'm going to insert an uh, image of the white cabinet that I show you uh, in the early. So now, okay, I got this image. I just need the uh, upper wall cabinets. I'm just gonna make the rectangle, select it, keep it side, and I'm just going to select all the image and just keep it outside the canvas. Okay, now I have it. I'm also going to use the free form. And I'm going to adjust it as per to the wall cabinet sizes because as I told you, these are from the model and they are as per accurate size. So now see, I have this one. Okay, so the base cabinets and wall cabinets are done. I'm going to insert a image for the backsplash. So I'm using this white tiles and I'm going to resize it and put it along it. Okay, for this one, as you need a long size, so I'm just going to duplicate this layer. And, and I, I don't want to see any kind of the lines that says, okay, it's a tile. I want a very, you know, a kind of a seamless look. So for that, I'm just going to select it and I'm using a merge tool. With the merge brush, I am going to merge the lines so it just reads at one single seamless tile. That's done. I'm just going to repeat this process and put it in all the walls. Okay, now here it is done. As you can see, we have backsplash in all the walls. And it looks fine and very nice. I also added the few lights as you can see above the island. Now I am telling to add a light under the cabinets, under the top wall cabinets. So I'm just going to select the Lumion cell. I'm going to choose the yellow color. And in a new layer, I am going to create a single line. So it gives a like there is some kind of light light under the wall cabinets. Okay, as you can see, it is done and it looks pretty much fine. I also added uh, some shadow for to the depth for the wall cabinets and just move the light a little down. Okay, and now I'm going to create some kind of a shade because light is never in kind of one thing. It has to be. So I'm just going to use the select tool and I'm going to make a, with freehand a profile. You need to be sure you are a new layer. So I'm just going to select a very random profile like a very, very random shade. I'm just going to drop this color. And then this layer, I'm going to play with this opacity. So it likes, there is a light coming out from under the cabinet. And with the result tool, I'm just going to remove the sharp edges. So it likes in smooth light effect. Okay, here I also added the sink image and now for on the left side, I need some bar stool. So I'm just going to, instead of photo, I've saved the bar stool as well. So here's the bar stool. I'm just going to import it. Okay, so it's a PNG. As you can see, there's some white background. So I'm just going with the help of the selection tool. I'm going to freehand select the profile of the bar stool and I'm going to eliminate the, all the white areas so I can just have the bar stool profile. 
here i remove the background and i just kind of make a duplicate of this image and resize it and place it at the back as well so i have the multiple stool bars okay so now as you can see it it does look pretty much good and it's like kind of different from what i show you like from the very basic image we transform into a 3d render and we didn't do anything we just copy paste some pictures from our reference into this model and adjust it and resize it and add some light and play with some colors that's it i hope this video is useful for you and you will learn something new do let me know in comments what do you think about it and please share and subscribe my channel till then bye